Okay, <clears throat> this is gonna be the final part portion of the liver sizing up, or hopefully I can wrap it up very quickly because it's only a one. So, liver fire often drives from long standing for liver cheese stagnation. When cheese stagnates for a long time, it implodes, implodes um, and gives rise to heat, and which can then transform into fire. Liver young rising could also transform itself into liver fire, especially when there are dietary um, etiological factors. In when liver fire, so the development of this liver fire blazing is can dry up in and therefore um, induce a deficiency of liver yin and liver fire is also used and transformed into the heart, giving rise to heart fire. And this is um, more likely to happen when severe emotional stress is the cause of the problem. So the basic uh, principle of treatment is to clear the river and drain the fire. So yeah, acupoints that we're gonna use is liver two, uh, xing jian, liver three, tai chong. So they're both on the foot, on the in between the sorry the first toe and the second toe. Um, and there's ji gallbladder twenty feng shi. Feng shi is right over here. Um, you can always massage this part. It's some has something to do with wind. And then Tai Yang, it's right here at the temple. And then gallbladder 13. Um, so gallbladder 13 is. Excuse me. I have to look at the um, location. So it's 0.5 trin within the hairline of the forehead, 3 trin lateral to do. 24 so that is called Ben Shen. Uh, so 0.5 trim in within the hair on the forehead. So it's about half of this. So maybe right here and then three trim lateral. So right here somewhere on the on the head. So when you insert the acupuncture needle, it is very important that on the skull, um, you have to needle it to not perpendicular, because that would be weird. You have to do like it within the angle, and depends on if you want to reduce or you want to tonify. If you want to reduce, you have to go against the channel, and if you want to tonify, go well, you know, if the channel goes up, downward, or you know, backward, you just go along with the the channel. Anyhow, and then there's large eleven, which is on the elbow and the elbow, large intestine eleven. Um, and then there's um, gallbladder one, which is tong tong zi liao, which is right right here. On the end of the, let me read the <laughs> official letter. It's a 0.5 twin uh, lateral to the outer canvas in the depression on the lateral side of the orbit. So, right here. 0.5 twin. <laughs> so, um, and then there's gallbladder 9, which is the uh, Tian Chong. Tian Chong, directly above the posterior border of the ear, in the a two trim within the hairline, about 0.5 trim posterior to GB8, uh, GB9, somewhere around the ear. Where's nine? Where's nine? Come on. Mm -hmm. Here. So if you measure one trim up. The tallest ear pack, and then it's one trim behind. I believe. 
Yeah, these uh, gallbladder points are really hard to find, but if you have like temporal headache, it's really it they're it, they're really helpful. And then um, gallbladder eight, which is a stripe, was superior to the apex of the uh, ear and 1.5 trim within the hairline. So up there somewhere. And then there's um. Gobbler 6, Xuanmi is within the hairline of the temporal region at the conjunction of the lower one quarter and up, um, upper three quarters of the distance between stomach 8 and GB7. So, right here. So, if you draw an imagined line and divide that by four, this is um, the upper three quarters, lower one quarter. So near seven, near GB7. And then there's um, GB6, explain six. I am so sorry, I have, I have my allergy rhinitis, <laughs> so I am, I was born right now. <laughs> so, Sanjiao, Sanjiao, everybody should know where that is, it's um, and the, on the inner side of your lower leg, and it's three chuan, so that's the sense up of your medial malleus, the little bump on the Uncle, <laughs> however you want to put it, and this is um, a really good point. And then there's a little one. It's just that one. That da. Is that how you say it? Da. The one dun da, da dun da dun da dun. <laughs> um. So what each point does in here, the explanation is very funny, very good. So number two is the in spring point of the liver channel, which is the main point to use is to specifically drain the liver fire. And the liver three drains the liver, and gallbladder 20 drains the liver fire, and the subdues ascending liver T, and a very important point to use in the case of lie problems or headache or any other problem that caused by liver fire. Tai Yang, it's a, a temple and it clears, it clears liver fire used for temporal headache. Gallbladder 13 subdues a, a ascending, um, ascending liver yang and calms the mind. Large intestine 11 clears the heat. And GB1, GB9, GB8, GB. Six are important local points for liver fire ascending to the head and causing headaches, so temporal headaches. And then, um, spleen six is used for tree nourishing, which will help to drain the fire. Liver one clears the liver and subdues raining the young and uh, liver young and liver fire. So, there are two um, herbal formulas that we could use one is long gan, long gan, xie gan tang, one is dang gong, dang hui, long hui. So, for people who, who likes to be angry, who, well not really, nobody wants to like to be angry, who are easily angered, so you could try this. And long dan xie gan tang is one of the formulas that I was, gonna, I was learning about too, so it's a very good formula. Um, okay, it's almost 10 minutes, so... I will talk to you in the next video.